What is up everybody? I'm gonna talk about some little bit different than usual and this is gonna be about the OJ Simpson trial almost 20 years ago. The audience who don't know, OJ Simpson was a legendary football player who was also an analyst at NBC who was uh, convicted of murdering his wife and her like um, cuckold Ron Goldman. One of the legendary things about the OJ Simpson case was that car chase or the truck chase where OJ Simpson led a bunch of LAPD and CHP around the LA freeways in this white Bronco. <laughs> I was like, man, what the fuck is OJ Simpson doing? I was like, man, this, this OJ this led to the trial of the century, not only featuring Kim, Robert, and that other Kardashian's father, Robert Kardashian, but also Johnny Cochran, who had this legendary line. It doesn't fit. If it doesn't fit, you must acquit. OJ's dream team somehow managed to convince the jurors that OJ Simpson did not commit the murders of Ron Goldman and Nicole Brown. But as proven otherwise a few years later, it turns out that OJ did kill those two. You can see the reactions when OJ got off between whites and blacks. It was a very different reaction. A whole bunch of people came overnight celebrities. Not only did we have the dirty racist cop, Mark Furman, we got the DAs, Marshall Clark and Christopher Darden, and we got OJ's live-in roommate or where the hell he was, Kato Kalin. Everybody who was involved around OJ became a star overnight 20 years ago. Those who love to talk about like a white privilege and like court deciding cases, I say, yeah, that's a bit important, but money also matters. And OJ, a black man who got away with killing two white people, had lots of money. But justice prevailed anyways as OJ managed to get convicted of a robbery and is sent a long-term sentence in jail. So karma does strike back in a way. Take on the video, leave a comment below, give me a like if you feel this video, just like if you don't feel this video, please subscribe.